welcome back and in this video we will take some of the questions uh, uh, based upon the decision control we will try to solve those things by a if else and uh, elif statements and all so let's get started so the first question says that uh, we need to write a program uh, in which you are taking input of three subjects from the user from the console and uh, you are going to uh, you want to display the grade so in this particular question we will uh, take input from the user the three inputs uh, subjects of three uh, inputs and then we are going to calculate the average uh, and then we are going to find out the grade so we have been given over here the grades as it says that if the average is greater than 90 so uh, say grade a if it is in between this range so b and so uh, likewise so we'll just uh, now uh, do step by step so first uh, our step is to uh, take input of three subjects from the user so we'll uh, complete that stage first so let's head over to our pie charm so in my main.py file i'm going to write my code so uh, i'm declaring variables so i need to declare three variables because i want to accept uh, three values from the user so i will say subject one sub one is equal to input enter the marks for subject one and I just will copy paste this. So copy and paste. And one more time because I'm uh, taking three inputs for three subjects. So I will just change the variable name. Here also I will say subject two. Coming down over here, I will change the variable that is sub three. And here I will say three. So, okay, so we have taken three inputs and in this case, uh, don't forget uh, to do the type conversion. Just uh, make it int because you want to make your uh, interpreter say that it's an input value, uh, integer value and not a string. Just make that input type conversion. Int. All right, so our first step is over. Now, in order to calculate that grade, uh, I need to do uh, take out the average of this thing. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to declare another variable that is average, and I will simply say that I want to sum up this sum one plus sum two plus sum three, and now I want to divide it by in order to uh, take out the average, you need to divide by the total number of marks you have. So in this case, we have three, so I will just divide by three. So this will give me the average. You can even print the result over here. Uh, so I will say print av, avg. So the first step is, the second step is here over. Now we are given that grade. So in that case, uh, as you know, uh, we are making use of the if else statement. So first if condition, I will say, so if the condition of what is the condition let's uh, get over there so it says if the average is greater than 90 so just say that if average is greater than greater than equal to 90 we're going to say print that's grade a all right so as you know, we have seen about the indentation and all. So you be, just be uh, keen with uh, while writing the code. Now I want to go back. So I will say backspace, the indentation rule you need to follow here. Now, as you can see, there are multiple conditions. So for that, uh, I will use elif. So elif and here I will say, now we'll check the second condition. So it says that uh, if the average is in between 80 and 90, so B. So 80 and 90. So just say average is greater than equal to 80 and average is less than 90. So here you can see that I'm making use of this and. This is nothing but the logical and. We have studied about the operators. And here we are basically using this uh, 
a comparison operator. So this is our second condition and it says if uh, this is the condition so your grade will be B. So I will say print grade B. All right. Again get out of that thing uh, indentation root and backspace. Now the next condition says that if now what is the next condition? It says in range of 70 to 80. So let's go with it average greater than equal to 70 and average less than 80. I'm going to say print grade C. Again LF and what is our next condition for D? It says in range 60 to 70. Okay, fine. So, average greater than equal to 60 and average is less than 70. Colon, print and say grade D. And I think the, it is a, now the last condition is there. Yes, if the average is anything below 60, just say that grade F. So, we will put this thing in the else part. So, we will say, we will say else print grade, uh oh, happening, grade F. So, we have made these conditions and now we will run. So, it is asked you for the subject one. So, say I say I have got 60. Then in the next it says I have got 75. In the third I have got around about 55. So, you see it has calculated the average and now we will see this uh, is this range matches over here. So, it is 63. So, you can see that it is in this range, right? Average is greater than is equal to equal to 60 and average is less than if the average is less than 70. So, this grade D will be printed because this is in this grade. So, this is nothing but uh, how we have done this grading system. So, I will just do a quick recap of this thing. So, what we have done basically over here is we have asked for the free inputs from the user. We are getting the input and uh, we are take out, taking out the average. So, how we uh, calculate the average? This is the formula for that. Uh, the as many as subjects addition upon that many subjects total fine so in this case three now i'm just going to uh, i'm just printing this average so that we can get, understand like what's the average and depending upon that result we can guess like in which grade it is and this is just the grading system as you have seen in the question like uh, it was about uh, uh, you you can just go through this you can keep it in front of you and uh, depending on the range, you can just put up the condition over there. So, we have just made use of if, elif, else statement because there are, there are multiple conditions. So, we need to make use of this elif and we have done with this and in the else part, we have just mentioned that uh, if uh, anything is below 60, you just simply say that it is of F grade. So, this was the first question. Now, we will see the second one. So, now the second question says that uh, write a program that uh, grants access only to kids aged between 4, 4 to 17. Now, suppose that means uh, uh, there is a, some party or, or at your home and you just want to give invitation to the uh, children uh, in the play group area uh, who is of age in between this that the uh, age should be between 4 to 17. So, you just want to give the access to this kids that yes, you are only allowed to play the games and the rest kids uh, or the grown up kids say you are just uh, too old or you might be small, uh, you might be less than 4. So, you are not allowed. So, we will just write the code for this. So, we will go over here and in this I will create another file. new and python so suppose i say your uh, age and enter 
we got a new python file over here and we are going to write a program so basically what we are doing we are taking input from the user that uh, please enter your age so i will say age is equal to and just int input enter your age now i have just taken the input from there and now i am going to uh, i will write the condition so if i will say if the age is greater than equal to i think it was 4 right 4 and if your age is less than 17 so i will just uh, put this thing in the bracket you just need to check the conditions and depending upon the condition you need to put that and i will say just print welcome and if that doesn't fits into that criteria i will simply say else and print sorry you are not allowed allowed fine so i will just simply run this and it says oh just a minute you need to uh, just click over here and you simply say that you want to run this one so i'm simply say run age fine so it says enter your age so suppose i say 4 and it says welcome now let's check for the another condition suppose uh, i'm <laughs> way too old so i say i'm 60 and i'm just going to enter and say sorry you are not allowed so this is nothing but the simple statement uh, depending upon the condition you can just uh, write down the condition and you can just uh, go with the flow fine we'll just uh, go and see the next program so it says uh, write a program to find the largest among the three inputs so okay fine so what you're basically doing over here you're taking three inputs uh, i will just create another file over here so i say new and i will just say python file and said that i'm going to say largest fine so in this case you need to take inputs from the user three inputs from the user it will be in because we want to find out the largest of number and we will apply the conditions and uh, we'll see how it does the everything is only uh, the thing is only about the condition and i think if you are very clear with the fundamentals that is how to use if else and with the operators part and all that we have already covered uh, i don't think so that this uh, this task is uh, any difficult in that so we'll just uh, take number so i say num1 and uh, we'll say in uh, int and input enter number enter say num1 you just need to go with the flow and oh what's happening over here oh, my num is not you simply say enter number one your first number i'm just going to copy paste this and we'll change the variable name so control c control v and once again i'm just going to change the variable i will say this as num2 num3 enter the num2 and 3 so we have taken the three inputs over here we have even done the type conversion now i want to apply the condition i want to check which number is greater and largest one and i'm just going to print this so i'm saying if if my num1 is greater than num2 and if num1 is even greater than num3 colon indentation so simply print that uh, or we are not going to print we are go just going to print the largest one so i'm just going to create a variable and say that largest is equal to num1 that is i'm just storing it okay uh, the next condition i will say if num2 is greater than num1 and num2 is also greater than num3 so just store it will just change the value so it, here now 
num2 will come uh, i just forgot the colon fine and yes yeah, so only the two conditions are enough and in the else part we'll just simply say that uh, the largest will be of course leave this condition is not met so it will be num3 and getting out of this and now and to i will print that the largest number is and just you need to give comma over here and you are going to print the largest because it is storing your value so that's it let's run it so just i will just click over here and i will say run largest so it says enter your number one so say i enter 20 i enter 45 and next i enter 36 so it says the largest number is 45 because in this scenario it is so uh, this is once more what time we will run if what if i give the same number 20 20 and 40 so it will say the largest number is 40 so this was about the grading system that you are taking input from uh, marks from the user and you are going to take out the average of this and depending on the average value we are uh, giving the conditions so we are making use of if elif and else the second question was about the a's in this we simply made use of if and else so in that uh, the conditions i have given that if your age is under uh, from 4 to 17 so simply say uh, you are in or welcome or in the else part you say that sorry you can't get in you're not allowed so this was about this thing and we are making use of this logical and that we studied about the operators and we are even using the comparative operator over here so and the last one we did about the uh, finding the largest number so in this case also we have given the conditions so you can uh, just uh, solve as many as examples as you can because uh, i don't think so if the concepts are clear you can print any of the you can write any of the code uh, based upon the concepts that we have learned so try to include the concepts of the operators into your program then about this uh, decision control that we have studied and yeah that's all in today's video see you in the next video thank you